Titles you may have missed, August Osage County is a big one, star-studded cast, and yeah, Ewan McGregor stars in the movie, joining us from L.A. Uh, Ewan, great to have you on BT, and let's get down to it. Uh, you got Meryl Streep, you're playing the estranged husband of Julia Roberts. When you have all these stars in a movie, what's that first table read like when you bring all of you together? Yeah, it was quite a nervy um, table read, for sure. We had Sam Shepard um, in there in the mix as well, and... Um, but, you know, uh, very quickly, you, you know, the great thing about great actors is that they're great actors. They're great to watch, but they're also great to work with. And with Meryl and Julia and, uh, you know, very quickly we become part of a acting troupe, if you like. And we were in the middle of, we were in Oklahoma. We were all staying there in Bartlesville. We were working on this amazing set. The production had bought a, a house and we made the whole film in this house. And um, so we drive to work every day. We, we just became sort of like an acting, like a little acting troupe in the middle of Oklahoma. And so all of those initial nerves and um, they dissipate, you know, and you end up just working with great people. So. And, you know, I, I think a movie like this speaks to the masses, given the variety of themes. You've got sibling rivalry. You've got uh, addiction, the idea of infidelity. Uh, being a part of this project, what would you say is the unifying narrative of this, this popular story? Oh, it's quite complicated. I mean, I think Tracy Letts has, has written a play about about a family, but he's also written a play about America and, and America's history and um, the sort of layers and layers, if you choose to look for them, I think, in, in the piece. But, uh, but, but it's about a, a family who unite together because the father has gone missing. And um, during this difficult time, when the father's uh, nowhere to be found, uh, uh, secrets that have been long hidden in the family start to come to the surface. And um, it's like a, a house of cards falling down. One thing leads to another, to another, to another. And I think by the end of the film, we're all very glad that we're not in this family, you know. Uh, yeah, no doubt. Dysfunctional family. I think everyone can relate to some sort of nuance along the way. And, uh, you know, I'm fascinated watching this when you see all of uh, the stars on screen. How do you work to truly complement each other rather than compete against each other w with the screen time and with, you know, parlaying the story? Well, I mean, good, uh, good actors don't compete with one another. That's not really what we're, we're about. Uh, that's certainly not these actors. We... Um, our job is to make the the text work to the best uh, the best of our ability, and that and that's what everyone does. Everyone's playing the scene as honestly as possible, whether they're on camera or off camera, you know, giving it 100%. And um, so it was it was lovely to be part of a team like that. And this is uh, quite the popular play. I mean, it's got to be a challenge in itself to take a Pulitzer Prize-winning play and turn it into a movie. How difficult is that transition? And have yeah. you seen the original play? I never saw the play, sadly. I, I missed it. But in one respect, I was probably lucky because I didn't know, I didn't have that um, pressure of, of feeling that I had to live up to something that I'd seen somebody else do. So I was able to sort of create this character from scratch, if you like, uh, from the, the great writing that I had. Um, and, the, and the process of, of turning it into a movie from a play was, was very skillfully done by Tracy Letts um, with John Wells, our director's help. And, um, they took an hour out of the play um, and honed the piece to, to the movie that we see. Well, it's fun to watch on screen. Before we let you go, you and quick predictions. Oscar nominations out tomorrow. What do you see that will possibly win Best Picture in your eyes? I don't know. I, I, really, I really don't know. I haven't seen all of them. I've seen a good few of them. Um, I don't know what will win Best Picture or be nominated. I, I don't know. I liked her. I liked her a lot. I thought that was a lovely film. Spike Jones, Joaquin Phoenix, good tag team. Well, we're going to find out tomorrow. Congrats on the film. Thanks for chatting with us here on BT.